Hi. I'm hungry. You guys probably aren't familiar with this, but I have something called gastroparesis. It is essentially slow motility in my GI tract. So I have to eat very specific foods. I have to be very conscious of what I eat. I actually have to use an app called the Menashe Low FODMAP app. It was developed by the Menashe University in Australia. They're really the people who pioneered the whole study of gastroparesis and how to combat it. It is essentially my food bible and it keeps me from eating trigger foods and from having GI problems, which keeps me out of the hospital. FODMAP stands for fructose, oligo, disaccharides, mono, and polyps. Anything with a high content of those components are going to be a red light. I do weigh everything that I eat and I find it to be okay. It's just part of my lifestyle. So I like to use my scale. I got this at Target. I will link it in the description box down below. This scale is great. Like the size of it is amazing. It measures grams and ounces. So I do drink a lot of water, about one and a half gallons a day. I love to use my H2O capsule. It holds 2.2 liters of water or 73 ounces. It has this nice neoprene sleeve. It's easily washable. It also has this pocket here and it also has this little hook so you can hook your keys while you're at the gym. I like to carry this when I'm hiking. It has a strap that is totally adjustable. I just like to sling it over me like this or in the back and I'll just carry it around. I just appreciate the whole entire design of this bottle. They have a ton of different colors and patterns and styles on Amazon and I will link it in the description box down below so you can pick one up. Because I meal prep, the way that I transport my meals is I have an igloo backpack. It's like a 36 can cooler backpack. It holds my meal prep containers perfectly. The crazy thing about this bag is it is so big. I can put three meals and fit my H2O capsule on top of that. Woo! Now that that's all out of the way, let's eat. Now I can show you exactly what I eat as of right now in a day. I eat five meals throughout the day. The first meal of the day is breakfast, which is my favorite meal. Right now for breakfast, I'm eating two whole eggs, two slices of gluten-free bread, one slice of center cut bacon, and five strawberries. My second meal of the day is my post-workout meal, and that consists of a protein shake. I do have a special protein. It is by Stellar Labs. It is low FODMAP, gluten-free, CMP certified, and vegan, non-GMO. It's their vanilla flavor. They also have a chocolate in the vegan option, but they're both really good. It mixes up really smooth. It's not gritty. There's no chemical aftertaste, and there's only four core ingredients. Now we're gonna go to the gym. Today is a back and bicep day, so here we go. I'll link my wireless headphones. Okay, so I didn't make it to the gym. I actually got called into work um, to help. So I am just gonna work now for a few hours, but yeah, I shouldn't be here very long. I am on hour four, and I made the mistake of saying I'm gonna stay until whenever. I'm very ready to go home though, I'm not gonna lie. It was super busy when I got here and it was just, very unusual for our ER and our hospitals. Before we go to the gym, we have to make our pre-workout and creatine. I love the Ghost Red Berry Legend. It is my absolute favorite pre-workout and favorite flavor that they've made. I've also had the Blue Raspberry Sour Patch in the canned energy drink, and that one's pretty good too, and I have my fingers crossed that they will come out with a powder pre-workout form of that. That would just make my whole day. We're on our way to the gym to actually work out like we were supposed to yesterday. We're still gonna work out our back and biceps. I like working out my biceps, but back day is not my favorite day overall. My back is super slow to respond, but I know the gains will come in time. I just have to keep pushing myself. 
can we just take a minute to talk about gym etiquette? I feel like a lot of people are lacking in this. I had my camera and all my equipment set up and some kid just walks over and just knocks my camera over, doesn't apologize, takes the equipment that I was using. <laughs> like, okay, bro, like, thanks for taking my stuff. I know, I just, I just don't get people. Meal number three is lean ground sirloin, half of a tomato, one ounce of avocado, and I garnish it with a little bit of cilantro. Continuing on our food journey, meal number four is some lean ground chicken, no salt added green beans, butter lettuce with carrots, and I like to use a little bit of white balsamic. Last but not least, meal number five is again our Stellar Labs vegan protein mixed with some forager cashew milk plain unsweetened yogurt. It makes kind of like a protein pudding type texture. It's not very sweet because the yogurt is unsweetened and the vanilla is pretty bland, but it makes me feel like I'm eating something dessert-like, so I don't mind it. That's it. That's my whole day of eating. Thanks for joining me on my food journey. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on the socials. I'll see you in the next video.